What's happening, YouTube? This is Black Irish, another recording. Uh, I, this is an original song I wrote, and it uh, deals with being a Christian, and it portrays what I feel are the two sides of Christianity. The one that is seen, and then the one that is unseen. And it's, um, it's supposed to be a dichotomy of what we were asked to do, and what, we, what too many Christians these days are doing. It's also, the second part is more of a personal thing, um, like a personal story of like the personal struggle of dealing with temptation, whereas the first is largely satire. I'm doing this to uh, uh, the uh, What's the Difference beat, so enjoy. And uh, let's, let's get to it. Yeah. That redemptive salvation rap. Yeah. Sound the alarm. Round up the men. Notify the president, cause I'm at it again. Gather the children, then lock them away. Swallow the key so they're safe from the fray. Heed what I say. Heed my advice. I establish rules like Louis Brandeis. Exterminate lice, decapitate mice, and never return, or else you shall pay the price. Bring me a cauldron, cast me a spell But don't summon demons, that doesn't bode well with me Cause I'll rip off his horns, crown him with thorns Fill him with scorn, make him forlorn and beat his tail back to hell Avoid the nefarious, luciferian tricks And precarious areas, branding people with a triple six They manifest in all shapes and forms And perform works that will take your soul by storm Don't submit to pride, be more like me Victorious and glorious in the name of the Lord for all to see I know everything needed to get to paradise So remember, I'm wise and heed my advice Just read the Bible and pick out the one-liners you want to use Ignore the Old Testament and firmly believe God hates the Jews Defy that there can be wisdom found in other religions Argue relentlessly till you impose your position Everyone knows that the best way to spread the word Is screaming at non-believers until they submit to what they've heard Generating resentment in the name of your creed Is the perfect portrayal of what Christ wanted a Christian to be apologize if anyone's had to do, ever deal with someone like that. Call me a connoisseur, an entrepreneur, a pioneer. Got a new world in front of me like Paul Revere. On the frontier, braving the unknown without fear. I get scared sometimes, but still persevere. Fashion in spears, hunting for deer is how I survive. Passion in tears, keeping me up. Whenever I try, sleeping at night, clutching my knife, scared for my life. Deal with the strife, think of my wife. Strong on my side, snapping inside, grabbing my bees, shutting my eyes. The coast ain't clear, sign of the cross, feverish prayer. Muttering there, stuttering stare when I hear the bear growl from behind. Petrified, I lie on my side, open my eyes, realize that I'm ready to die. I get out of my cot, standing on shaky legs, shut my eyes, wait for the blow, for the claws to rip through my ribs, tear me apart, cut me to shreds, slash me to bits. Wind on my chest, open my eyes, the coast clear, scan the terrain, wait for Lucifer to suddenly appear. Instead of the beast, I see my peers, looking at me groggily, like after too many beers. They ask me what's wrong with their glassy stares. I reply, it must have just been only a nightmare. But I know Satan's servant surreptitiously shadow my steps, toting talons and temptations to tend to the test, trying to drag my soul into the murkiest depths. Yeah, and it makes all the sense. All the time waiting to trip me so I may fall face first with my soul in the grime. That's why I stay praying in the darkest gloom. Cause when darkness looms, the Son of Man rises soon. personal one, uh, and I believe that the second is more what God wanted us Christians to be, suffering silently and leading, spreading the word through example, just yelling at people, I've seen it so many times, when you yell at someone, it turns them away from the faith, so Christ Christianity is a good faith, and don't ever, anyone ever let you, let you believe otherwise, the word of God is is one of peace and truth and believe it or not tolerance and acceptance but too many christians have just focused on the wrong parts and it's easy because christianity is really hard and what i like i said in there you people can say yeah don't don't shouldn't shouldn't 
faggots burn in hell because they because it says in the Bible? Yes. But you know what the Bible also says? That God turns people into pillars of salt and that God also will be all merciful. Which makes sense, because he's all justice and all mercy. But in our minds, that seems like it contradicts. The Bible has phrases that contradict each other, because it's man's attempt at trying to capture the essence of a being that we can never hope to describe in words. So please, give Christianity a second chance. And especially, I know it's a whole different story, but try to give Catholicism a chance, too. Um, don't ever write off a religion just because of the crazy people who say they follow it. It's just unfair. And religion is a wonderful, beautiful thing in all of its shapes and forms. And if all of us, were, all religions, were to see that in each other, the world would be a better place. Um, I believe Gandhi once said, um, if more Christians were like your Christ, the world would be on its way to ridding itself of evil. That's too true. I think that's true for all religions. So, sorry to put a, put a little damper on your day, but look through some of my other videos. Maybe those will give you a smile. And um, thanks for watching YouTube, and uh, God bless.